This is WENY HD News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Well, we've all heard the phrase, run Molly run. Well, not only is she running, but she's breaking records. The Elmira native set a world record Sunday in the USA Road Racing Championship in Virginia. Huddle finished the 12 kilometer race in 37 minutes and 50 seconds. That's eight seconds ahead of fellow Olympian Shalane Flanagan. The old world record mark was 3810. And if you want to congratulate Huddle in person, she'll be in the Southern Tier for Turkey Day. She's starting the Notre Dame Thanksgiving 5K. That's at 9 a.m. Well, a Penn State student was killed in a fall off a ninth floor balcony. Police say 20 year old Connor McManus fell at the Penn State Tower apartment complex early Saturday morning. Investigators say it's too early to tell what led to the fall, but they do believe drugs and alcohol may have played a part. Police are asking witnesses to the fall to contact them. And temperatures are dropping. Now New Yorkers can apply for heating assistance. The Home Energy Assistance Program, or HEAP, helps low-income people with their heating bills. The state's program will provide up to $650 for eligible households to help pay for heating costs during the winter season. New Yorkers, you can start applying today. Last winter, more than 1.4 million households received heating assistance benefits. You can apply at your local county Department of Social Services. We put a link for more information on our website, WENY.com. We have some wacky weather coming up for us here, but uh, nothing really like what we saw in the Midwestern states, right, John? Yeah, that's right, Laura. Yesterday, a real tragic day across portions of uh, both Illinois and Indiana, uh, where potentially as high as rated EF4, maybe even an EF5 tornado rolled through some of those communities. Uh, the pictures all over social media just completely devastating. We saw our own wind and rain last night, but just nothing compared to that. We're going to continue with some windy conditions through the day. All of these shaded counties here for our viewing area under a wind advisory until 4 o'clock this afternoon. The rest of your weather story goes like this. Windy today and continued blustery conditions tonight, despite the fact that the wind advisory will expire. And on those winds tonight, we'll see some snow showers and they might try to stack up a little bit, coating for a lot of us, but some isolated spots could see as much as two inches. That two inch amount likely confined to western Stuben County and in the Finger Lakes and in the highest elevation. So you can see a lot of rules there to get to that two inch amount. Uh, won't be sticking around for very long though, as we'll see some more mild temperatures come our way for midweek back to near 50 degrees. Here's how it shakes out on your future track forecast. There goes your cold front that brought the squall line of showers and heavy rain last night off to our east, continuing in that direction, but continued windy conditions. Temperatures will be warmest this morning in the 50s, then cooling into the 40s this afternoon. Continue to cool into tonight. You can see some of these snow showers getting going by this evening and continuing in, in towards the uh, overnight hours. So you're waking up tomorrow morning, might have to brush off the car a little bit with some of these snow showers coming through. And it's one of those deals where it was warm to start, cold to finish. You might have to try to scrape some of that snow off. Might be stuck on there pretty good. Snow showers very early tomorrow morning, more like a flurry. And then increasing sunshine through your day tomorrow. In fact, by the afternoon, it looks like a gorgeous day. Pretty cold on Tuesday night, but warming it up on Wednesday under a lot of sunshine. Back to near 50 degrees. So up and down we go here this week. And then it's just down by the end of the week with the cold front coming through Friday and could be tracking our first snowstorm of the season over the course of the weekend, something that we'll have to keep a very close eye on. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, well, I guess it's about time for that snowstorm. All right, thanks so much, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 36 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great one.